We haven't tried to do it yet, but Christianity, a new religion, not bad. In March of this year, legendary rock band KISS was forced to postpone the remainder of their 2020 farewell tour as a result of the worldwide pandemic. It's no doubt that Gene Simmons had to retreat to his longtime mansion to self-isolate with his wife Shannon Tweed. Lucky for Gene, the 16,000 square foot mansion he's owned since the late 80s has enough luxury space to self-isolate for as long as they need. Well, look at Gene and Shannon's gorgeous home that was also featured on their family reality show, a property he just put on the market, and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Gene Klein, known professionally as Gene Simmons, is an Israeli-American musician, singer, songwriter, a record producer, entrepreneur, TV personality, and more, also known by his stage persona, The Demon. Of course, this is who he dresses up as when he's the bassist and co-lead singer of the band KISS. He founded this rock band with lead singer and rhythm guitarist Paul Stanley in the early 70s, and the group achieved mega fame. With all of Gene's success in business ventures, which he's also well known for, his current estimated net worth is at a whopping $400 million. Gene and his wife, former Playboy playmate Shannon Tweed, also had a popular reality show which ran for seven seasons, Gene Simmons' Family Jewels, which of course focused on their home life. Their children Nick and Sophie also starred in it, and it took place at their longtime family. Mansion. So if his home looks familiar, that may be why. Gene and Shannon's relationship has been highly publicized over the years, and in spite of them dating since 1983, it wasn't in 2001 that they finally got married. Gene admitted he'd been doing a lot of wacky stuff for an awfully long time. Take that as what you will. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here in Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. In this one, we'll take a look at where KISS member Gene Simmons and his wife Shannon Tweed call home, like their longtime home based in Beverly Hills, and a couple more of their properties. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on celeb couples like Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now, let's get into this video. We'll start with a house that Gene recently put on the market in the summer that's still up for sale. He and Shannon bought this split level home built in 1968 for 1.45 million back in 2013. Apparently they're selling the place because Gene actively wants to invest in other neighborhoods and he's trying to make a few bucks on the sale considering it's listed for 2.2 million. This occluded structure is set on a gated private road atop Los Angeles' Laurel Canyon in a desirable area of the Hollywood Hill. The contemporary home offers walls of glass and panoramic views which span the LA skyline, the Hollywood sign, Griffith Park Observatory, the Santa Monica Mountains, and even the ocean. But for any KISS fans, don't expect any traces of Gene's family jewels here. There's nothing custom to the legendary rock star or his famous family in the house except his presence, according to the listing agent. Besides that, the contemporary house has plenty of other selling points. The light and airy floor plan features 2,345 square feet of space with four beds and two baths. You also might see doubles in this home. The layout has two living areas, two kitchens which have been tastefully updated, along with the bathrooms. Both kitchens here feature stainless steel appliances, white cabinets, and marble counters. Next to all this is a dining table and living space looking out onto the decks and views beyond. Other features inside include high ceilings with recessed lighting, wood floors, and sliding glass doors. The listing agent claims the home is great for anyone in the entertainment industry due to the privacy, high ceilings, and space, amazing views, and unique floor plan. Speaking of which, the three-level abode features decks on every floor with access to outside from the living areas. The decks are big enough to entertain and allow for dining and lounging. Even the bedrooms feature glass doors that open to the outside space, and one of the larger rooms has a built-in reading nook. 
Gene and Shannon's main home is a spread in the exclusive 90210 area, none other than Beverly Hills, and more specifically, Benedict Canyon. His mega compound is well known, considering it was also the set for his reality series, Gene Simmons Family Jewels. He purchased the mansion back in 1986, and it's been the main Simmons family home base for many, many years. The house sits on nearly two acres of gated land, and the couple's famous neighbors include the likes of Vin Diesel, Kate Upton, and John Mayer. At the time of purchase, Gene paid $1.3 million for the property, which seems like a steal, considering these days the mega mansion is valued at over $10 million. Reportedly, Gene and Shannon had the main home constructed in 2000, which spans a whopping 12,379 square feet inside. There are four beds, 10 baths, and the home resembles a European castle. Oddly enough, the spread does doesn't seem to have much of a backyard, forcing the full-size tennis court on the property to be located in the front yard by the main road. The lot is still shaded with plenty of trees allowing for privacy and there's enough of a backyard or side yard if you will to offer a swimming pool and spa. It even has a waterfall and a slide. The main living room has photos of Jean, Shannon and the family and while it appears cozy and lived in, it's still luxurious with double height ceilings and a ton of space to roam. Gene also has a memorabilia room or office for all of his KISS stuff. He's shown off this part of the mansion on the show as well, and he keeps everything from awards and accolades to KISS products that were released over the years. And let me tell you, it looks endless. They've got everything from KISS arcade games to dolls, you name it, and it's all in Gene's home museum. More of his awards and achievements line the hall and staircase. And although they have about four floors in the mansion, Gene says that he and Shannon never installed an elevator. The eating kitchen offers a large island and marble countertops and it's attached to another sitting room with a TV and fireplace. This space also has glass doors leading to the yard. While Gene and Shannon's 90210 compound was large enough to house their kids for as long as they desired, just this summer their adult children Nick Simmons and Sophie Tweed Simmons upgraded their own LA residential circumstances. Reportedly, the siblings previously shared a Hollywood Hills starter home, but it appears they wanted a change. Let's take a quick look. Nick and Sophie shelled out $2.3 million for a a brand new contemporary house with many flights of stairs and rock star worthy walls of glass, all of which frame views of the city lights. Sophie and Nick's new home is in the Hollywood Hills on what's allegedly a celeb packed street and offers 2,700 square feet with three beds and 2.5 baths. While exterior views make the home look like a modest single story cottage, it drops down to four full floors out back with amazing views of the hills and Los Angeles. The home's top floor has an attached two car garage and foyer leading down to the main floor, offering common spaces like a living room with fireplace, dining room with 14 foot ceilings and walls of glass, as well as an eat in kitchen with backlit wine closet. Downstairs, the third level has the home's master suite, with some more floor to ceiling walls of glass and a spa style attached bath with dual vanities, steam shower, private balcony, and more. I wonder if Nick and Sophie are gonna fight for this master suite. How do they decide who gets it? The two other bedrooms are located on the home's lowest level. Glass sliders open to the backyard, which is full of towering trees and quiet sitting areas. I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. Now, not only have we looked at legendary Kiss rocker Gene Simmons and his wife Shannon Tweet's properties, we've also seen the newest spot his two kids moved to. While Nick and Sophie's modern spread is gorgeous, I think it's hard to compete with the longtime Simmons family home. I mean, if you watched the TV show like I did, you'd remember how nice the mansion is. What did you guys think? If you had to pick one of the three LA homes we looked at, which would you live in? Be sure to read Jean and Shannon's properties in the comments below. I also recently started a personal channel and I post a new video every Sunday. I'm gonna be filming a Q&A soon over there, so please start asking me any questions you wanna know. Drop one in the comments, over on Instagram, wherever, and I'll answer. We'll link you my latest video. So, as you can see, I can't do it in front of the camera, oh my gosh. Wow, failure. I'm gonna do that right now. Y'all can stare at the back of my head. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and drop a comment for whose house tour you wanna look at next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.